So the Rasta man turned to me and said, if me not pass a dead man there, so. Welcome back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. Forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience, wait, it's simple. Give thanks to life and the gathering. What well, go on, my people? Hope everybody in okay. Hope everybody in all right. Happiness is what people always seek. They try to find it in things, position, wealth and places. But true happiness is found in the love of our family and friends, in the contentment of our heart. Most of all, with God in the center of our lives. Big up everybody who live to see another day. Today is a great day to be great. Every day above God is a blessing. I don't know me now step say that. How oh, awesome it is to be amongst the living and not amongst the dead. Pep, all the things are going on in the news. All the things, all the things, all the things, something. I don't need to worry now. Me, I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm going on. Because you have some boy when it forgets to stop. And I'm going to make people them know where them name. And, police, let me tell you something. They never tell you this in a trading school. You saw the guy road. Criminal a play short for kill. Them not play little game who not play about to know how them and take them and carry them behind bars. No, 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 no. That not work. So I can start the news right down in Manchester and then I go to some other news. Two men were caught on CCTV breaking into a business place in Mandeville, Manchester on Tuesday, February 1st. Has been linked to at least three other similar incidents in the parish dating back to September of last year. Them a boy, if you get slap when I'm going to tell you who them and the people them can push out them picture. Make me just say little thief in boy them. The men, 38 year old Daniel Grant, a mason of Morrimount District, St. Anne's, and 33 year old Ryan Parker, a mason of Somerset District, Holland. Who not see the labor them a ton mason these days? Yes, people, me talk to this, and as it might be. They were charged with shop breaking and lastery. They are now facing the additional charge of storehouse breaking and lastery, and two counts of shop breaking and lastery. Them a boy, you're turf people. Them a boy, you're supposed to get slapped with. Report reached our news team that on September 25th, 2021, at about 7 30 a.m., a shopkeeper secured locked her business place on Baptist Road in the parish and left for home. Upon her returning, she discovered the culprit pry open a door and enter and stole several items. Both Grant and Parker, the two turfing boy, them were apprehended on February 2nd, 2022, while breaking into another building. The police said they later confessed to another breaking incident which happened. On October 29, 2021, at about 8 30 a.m., official report of the complaint and secure locked her business place and left. And upon return, she discovered the culprit cut off the locks to the building and entered, ransacked it, and stole several items. People can tell you something. Them are two boys, they forget slap away. From the police, them buck the first time. Them they forget slap away. And in another incident on December 14, 2021, on the Cartridge Road in Mandeville, a complainant locked the business place she's in charge of and left for home. Upon her returning, she discovered the culprit and cut off the grill to the basement where the storehouse is and stole several items. Them a boy, you have some several thief people. Them a boy, they forget slap away. I tell the police, them that let them out and make the people and fix them business for them. Yes, let them write out. Guess which part my god no paper? Right over with favorite ghetto. Go over them, you're gonna go go to some news because the man then showed police and thief him bike and left him for dead. But he's not dead. Yes, criminal boy. Nobody feel like seven hours tell them no say the police is on the face. So we wait and tell him come out to Naga see what go on. The police has launched an investigation to the shooting of a member of the Jamaica Constable Force along the municipal boulevard in Portmore St. Catching on Monday night. The police was reportedly driving a motorcycle when he was attacked by criminals who reportedly shot him in the back. The incident happened at about 10 o'clock. He is said to have lost control of the motorcycle. And you know what's so the once he lost control of something, you know what, man, ready? He crashed paper. Yes, so the motorcycle crashed. The attacker stole the motorcycle as well as the policeman's service pistol. Yes, people had escaped. The cop was found yesterday morning, bright and early. Pass by find him. And we can make a pass by telling exactly where we're going. So before the good Samaritan them tell you what, we're going to talk to wicked man Chris first. Make him give a little update and tell all the police me. So this morning, about 7, a passerby was traveling along this route where he observed a man um, in the bushes suffering from what appears to be gunshot wound. The police was summoned when on their arrival they discovered that he was a member of the JCF, in fact a member of our division. Um, the information that we got is that he was attacked 
by two men riding on motorcycle last night. Uh, he was shot and robbed of his motorbike and personal firearm. Uh, he, he was taken to the hospital where he's now being treated. Um, this incident, you know, raised an alarm for us based on what is happening. We have been seeing a trend in the general Portmore area where men on motorcycle are robbing persons, attacking persons in the wee hours of the night. So it is something that we are taking seriously. We have launched our investigation into it and we'll be taking the necessary steps to um, at least apprehend those culprits. One thing it means, people, me and let's come and me and let's tell them the truth. Watch on the six and protect on the three at all costs. And it's a summer, oh no. So man who need for me, you know, brothers and sisters keepers. Yeah man, who need for look out for them too. No, so somebody can write a comment and say my view. Say that say the police them can't protect themselves. All them are gonna protect we. That is why we need to work together and slap with all criminal. That is the only way it can work. Good Samaritan at your time. Come come tell the people them exactly where we are now. I was passing by car bush me really born to support the people in the era. But I passing by this morning about 6 o'clock hours. Me and the next Rasta man, they on one side and me they on the other side. So, me come cross past the person in the bush, but now I realize uh, the person laying on the bush, because the bush hide the person. So, the Rasta man turned to me and said, if I don't pass a dead man there, so, lay down to me, tell the man, say, no, I don't pass the man, he said, yes, it's just cross the man in the bush, lay down, come up, we'll go back and look, so, we we'll go back, come we'll go back and look, the Rasta man and said, the man dead. So me go over the man now and I realize that the man a breed. So me ask the man, warm to you? The man say, him get shot. Him is a police. So me say, he's a police? Him say, yes. Me say, him say to me, say, go in my pocket. So me tell him, no, go in your pocket. Him say, go in my pocket and take out my ID and call for help for me. So I go in my pocket, I go in my pocket, take out the ID. And when I take out the ID, I say, he's a police. So I call him for help. The vehicle in my pass and I show them the ID. The vehicle in my pass and no one stop. So he's a truck man. I passed by with about six man a night, give me a really helping and take the ID and go up on him phone and start to call 911 for the help for the man. So comes, we get a look help to the police and start to come now and start to take care of him. So did him tell anything? When he he said, seems to have some man ride him down and shoot him in him back. When? And take him by and him go last night, about nine, nine o'clock hours. Nine o'clock hours. There's a man riding down, shoot him in him back, take him bike and him gun. Yeah, that's the only thing we can say at the time when the man tell me. The policeman will lay down, we get the injured, mm -hmm. tell me that. So I have to just tell the police that as him tell me. Yeah. But I just do you see me, you know? Yeah. I pull my bone to survive, you know? And for the people who are concerned, let her tell you something. The police is not dead, okay? But because I go down to Portland now and tell no one police, no. Because the Portland police are work. Slap him, slap the one. I can't tell you what go on. The Portland police are probing a suspect the case of arson, which left 16 computers and two printers destroyed in Fruitvale Community Learning Center yesterday morning. The suspected arsonist was also killed during a lead confrontation with the police. Dead, dead, dead. That is 32 year old Dwayne Brooks, a merchandiser of the same district. Police report that at about 1 a.m. they respond to a fire in the community. On the arrival, resident pointed out that a man was behaving boisterous in a yard and requested the police assist in apprehending him as he was suspected to have started the fire. The police said the man armed with a knife. Yes, people, carry knife, come and gun war. Yes, attack an officer and was pepper sprayed. The police said the man continued his attack and was shot by the officer. He was taken to the hospital. Dead, dead, dead. Yes, people, the police said highest minibus belongs to Brooks was found nearby the scene with equipment believed to be stolen from the community learning center. Let me tell you something now. You see that the boy there? Him get to him deserve. Hold on, you know my paper. I'm going to write out the whole album because I don't know about all the nutrition now. I see them pick up. Then does a kill off. How's a new man them out there? A fish vendor was shot dead at Olawa Fishing Village in St. Catherine Tuesday afternoon. She has been identified as 51 year old Patsy Coleman, Hollande. And I be a woman up in a year, she might kill out the twin of people. Shortly after one, thugs entered the fishing village and opened fire on Miss Coleman. She dead right on the spot. Nobody, nobody tell me about body can't pronounce the hospital. No, 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 no. You think they'll get dead people for going to wait for that go to hospital to pronounce that? We are do that to self. Anyway, no people, listen, this is a nonsense and now. This no make no sense to me. Our news team understand that one of the suspects was held after the man were attacked by residents of the fishing village. And I'm attacking him in my life. 
That don't make no sense. Superintendent to the know who already. I'm in charge over that side there. Wicked man, Chris. As this speak, no. We have a team pursuing the suspects. We have one person in custody so far, hoping to make an early breakthrough into this one. The information that we have is that she came here early this morning to purchase fish. About 1.15, she went to use the bathroom. On her way back, she was attacked. That perpetrator managed to load several persons who ran after him. Also fired shots at the crowd that was chasing him. Wicked man, Chris, go by the back and tell us something. You see them, my boy, where you look for? Them not supposed to go in front of no judge. No, 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 no. Them are supposed to go in front of one pastor. A six man supposed to carry them back. No matter the fuck. Them not even six man for you carry them back. What family member can carry them? Just burn them. Yes, save yes, some money and just burn them. Anyway, I'm speaking of boys supposed to have go in front of pastor and not in front of judge. We have a few names for going now. The Kingston West Police has this three men and nine persons of interest in relation to several incidents in the division. The police say they can help with their investigation. The wanted men and the persons of interest have been asked to report to the Dedham Town Police Station. Just paper by 6 p.m. on Wednesday, February 16th. And that is today. Jasper Wilson, otherwise called Grand Spen. Yes, people. Shadane McKenzie, otherwise called Philippines. Peter Cooper, otherwise called Chuchu, and person of interest now. Stuart Burton, otherwise called Bling. Colin Rose, otherwise called Adams. Kareem Martin. You, yeah, you me and talk to them. Me and you know, so you know them, boy. Tell the police them exactly which part them be. And the police them say they have some more names, only the alias. Them say one man named Nigel, one named Kevin Blacks, one named Soji, one named Bimbo, one named Bam Bam, and one boy named Boise. Police, me attack to Uno now. Me Jamaica safe again. Still up with all of them. No waste of time and carry them behind bars to eat taxpayers money. No, 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 no. That now work. Anyway, people, me have more things in the news to tell you. So don't need to worry. In the next update, you get it.